it's constantly, continuously going back and forth. It's shifting from everything and going to nothing. It's like you have a backpack, okay? You got this backpack and you open your backpack, but it's got reversed engineering. So you're pulling these things out of the backpack, things coming out. And the more you take things out, the more things come out. So now you got a lot of fabric, you got shoes, you got clothes, you got your computer, everything comes out of the backpack. So now you have a lot of stuff. And then you put everything back into and everything just folds back into the backpack again. And the backpack disappears. When you wake up in the morning, the first thought comes in your mind is the I, I thought, me. With this thought of me, I, I am, I am Zarathustra, I am a man, I live in the US. With that one comes the world. The world starts to become into construction. All these components come back. The world comes back to existence. But then when I sleep at night and I'm not dreaming and there's no mind activities, that world disappears and it doesn't exist. Same as its problems. Everything disappears. And then with you, the I thought, everything comes back. That's why if you want to re realize it and recognize the truth of who you are, you have to become quiet. Means go beyond the mind when there is no mind activity, there's no thoughts. That's how you realize the self. Because there is no I, there's no me in there either. It's only silent. And in silence, transmission takes place. The power of silence is beyond any power, similar to the power of love. In silence, you tap into the heart and the power takes over. You're not using that power in order to manipulate the utter world. Forget about that. You're not tapping into this power to changing the world to your image. Then you're, you're wrong. You're just going the wrong direction. You become quiet and you tap into the inner power, which is pure being, pure love. And in that you have transcended time space. You have gone beyond time space. You entered into the fifth dimensional consciousness, which there is no time and there's no space. It's only the being. And that's where you start to get the juice. It's the recognition of that which is 
always here. The recognition of that which is always present and does not change. That is here in your own heart. You as a human being have that, this opportunity in this life to self-realize with correct guidance. But you have to do it. There is work. And a part of that is you need to learn to be quiet. Silence is the key to this. It means you have to give up everything else you know. All of the spiritual teachings that you've learned, you have to throw them down the garbage. None of them comes handy. You don't need it. Anything that is giving you an idea of what you should do, what you shouldn't do, is a hindrance. It's actually blocking you from getting to where you want to get to because it's a concept. You got to let it go and not know anything and be naked and be empty and just be quiet. Forget about your spiritual teachings and trainings. That's a hindrance. It was good to bring you to this point. But from here on, you got to let it go. It's like you wanted to cross the river and you needed a boat. So you got in a boat and you start rowing and you got to the other part of the river. Now you're on the other side of the river. Now you don't put the boat on your head and carrying the boat anymore when you're walking on the land. You're walking in a jungle and you're carrying the boat. You don't need the boat anymore. The boat was good enough to get you from this shore to this shore. All the spiritual teachings, they were good to get you to this point. From here on, you gotta throw them away. You don't know anything. You give it all up and you just be quiet. You just be quiet. You just be quiet. You just be quiet. And transmission takes place. The transmission between the guru, your guru, which is inside yourself, your sat guru, it's inside yourself. But you don't understand the language of communication with your guru. That's why an utter guru appears on your life to communicate with you. But the language to communicate with your inner guru is not a language of speaking or thinking. It's a language of silence. You have to be quiet. Be silent. Don't think. Keep quiet. And in, that is the language you speak to your inner guru. Then your inner guru begin to give you the transmission. Transmission starts to happen. Means the wisdom of the inner guru will surface to you. But you got to dump all your spiritual trainings. Throw them all in the garbage bag. And then wisdom will take over. That's how it is.